Canada had a big opening day in Pyeongchang, taking home a total of four medals at the Paralympic Games. And Matt Cullen is here with all of that. Uh, this is a pretty exciting first day, and we'll uh, start with some skiing. That's right. Four medals in total and one gold, and that's Mac Marcou in the downhill for the visually impaired. He put on a very strong performance, a blistering time of just under 1 minute and 24 seconds, along with his guide, Jack Leach, the 20-year-old Marcou from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario, competing in his second Paralympics, but first with his guide, and there's Jack Leach you can see in front of Marcou. He provides valuable information through a headset back to Marcou. Split second reaction time to race down that track. Uh, times of over 70 kilometers per hour. A very nice moment for them, golden, and a very nice moment for their families as well as Leach and Marcou have been skiing together for two years, but the first time that their families actually met, and they were met in Pyeongchang. So Bill and Lee Marcou along with Pat and Bob Leach, a golden moment for everyone there. We're going to still stick with the cold stuff, but in this case, it's going to be ice and uh, all kinds of activity and some medals there, too. That's right. Well, para ice hockey to start things off. Uh, Canada uh, taking on Sweden. And, John, let me tell you, this one was over early. Canada scoring seven goals in the first period en route to a 17-0 win over Sweden. Tyler McGregor scoring four times. He also added two assists. These Paralympics are about redemption for the Canadian para ice hockey team. They haven't won gold since 2006. Shut out of the medals in 2010, bronze in 2014. Meanwhile, their big rival, the United States, has won gold in back-to-back -back years. How about the pebbled ice now curling? A 2-0 start for Canada after the first day. Solid victories over Norway and Switzerland. Canada skip Mark Eitzen breezing through, looking for a fourth straight gold medal for Canada, looking to make it three wins in a row tomorrow against Sweden.